Good day everyone, I hope you are doing well. We're gonna explain the page analyzer tool. This tool helps you to analyze the links in any article from the HTML uh, source, such as the H1, H2, up to H6. You can also find bold words, bold words as well as strong words, etc. You can also uh, find the meta tags, which the word has used to excel in the search results. In addition to the other data that the site provides to the search engines. Of course, your knowledge of, these data, of this data will help you will help you to form your uh, site, provide information. It, uh, it also helps you to understand your com uh, competitors and the data they provide to search engines so you can understand their content. The tool also, the tool, this tool also, also helps you to understand the schema, whether it's an internal schema, such as an HTML, or uh, JSON uh, schemas that are used in some sites. If you want to learn more about the data and information of any page, such as the images, this tool helps you to, to download the images uh, easily. Sometimes when you are trying to analyze uh, external links, you need to open several tabs in your browser, which makes it harder to, to understand the data and analyze the content of every page. This tool helps you uh, to, make it, to make your life easier, basically, so that all the data is in one place. So using this tool, you'll be able to find the, the date which was uh, the, the content was published as well as other related info. We will start using this tool by logging in. We're gonna click on the page analyzer uh, icon. We will add the link of the, uh, the URL we are trying to analyze. This is one of me but tells, uh sites or uh, pages. We will be able to analyze uh, the links uh, in this page to help us un understand uh, his results and how he achieved them. Page size in, is 168 kilobytes, such as JavaScript, HTML, or CSS. The code size is 150 kilobytes. As for the text, the size is 35 kilobytes. If your text size is 35 kilobytes, then it's uh, definitely a great result. This is one of the factors you need to uh, pay attention to in the websites you are, uh, you are making. If you're going to use a, a template, a ready-made template, whether it's paid or free, or even if it was custom programmed for you, the code to text ratio must be suitable because when Google is trying to, the, uh, when Google bots are trying to uh, enter or crawl through a website so that the user can, the user can uh, gain benefit from the content of a website. The user experience is definitely prime importance, and uh, they they wouldn't like to have uh, a, a, to enter a page that is full of codes rather than content. And this is a factor that can uh, hurt your website. The tool provides the logo of the website, the title page, right here. Right here is the uh, link, the URL itself. These icons are for copy as well as fetching for the content optimizer tool. You can also open the link. Uh, in a new tab externally. Right here is the uh, is the article's image. Here is the place of where the description goes for the uh, for the URL. Right here you can find that uh, the article is about 500 uh, 5500 words. This is the text size by the way, 35 kilobytes. This is the publishing date, as well as the latest update. Right here you can find the H1 heading, and the article itself. It is organized so you can easily read it. Right here you can find the internal links, as well as the hash internal and external. Internal is of course dedicated for the links of the website. This will help you to understand how the pages are interlinked, and how the articles are connected to each other. Right here, this is uh, this uh, this this part here allows you to understand how the website is linked to each uh, to, uh, how the website parts are linked to each other. If you have divided your article into several parts and the user wants to uh, go immediately to another article, you use these uh, hashed links so that whenever you click to, you click on it, it will take you to that uh, part within that page. External, of course, is for the external links or the sources you use for your 
uh, article. This, of course, as uh, to your uh, website authority. Right here, you can find the strong words that were highlighted within the article. You can also find the AM, H2, all the way up to H6. Right here, you can find the images albums that were used within the article. As you can see, he has used 63 images within that within this article. You can easily uh, go through them this way. You can also save them this way. If you click on this icon, you're going to be able to uh, watch them in a grid. You'll also be able to find the meta tags right here, as well as the information and data of this website. And you can use this uh, to uh, outperform your competitors. Right here, you're going to find the JSON and schema. Let's save the same purposes of the meta tags for the search engines and provide info in a streamlined manner, as search engines uh, prefer this kind of uh, data. You can go through them easily this way and use them in your website so that you can provide you can easily provide the information that are needed by the search engines this is the page analyzer tool explanation thank you for listening